Detailed step-by-step -step tutorial, configuring Windows Hello for Business using Microsoft Intune. Introduction. Windows Hello for Business, WHFB, replaces traditional passwords with a strong authentication method using pins, facial recognition, or fingerprints. Deploying this across devices in your organization enhances security by leveraging two-factor authentication. Microsoft Intune allows you to configure and manage WHFB policies efficiently. Step one, sign in to Microsoft Intune Admin Center one. Open your browser and go to the Microsoft Intune Admin Center, https endpointmicrosoftcom slash. Two, log in using your administrator credentials. Ensure you have the appropriate permissions to configure device enrollment and security settings. Step two, Navigate to Device Enrollment 1. After logging in, on the left side navigation pane, click on Devices. 2. In the Devices section, select Enrollment from the submenu. This section allows you to configure settings for devices enrolling in, in your organization's Intune environment. Step 3. Enable Windows Hello for Business 1. Within the Device Enrollment section, find and click on Windows Enrollment. 2. Scroll down and select Windows Hello for Business. Three, on the Windows Hello for Business settings page, set the Configure Windows Hello for Business option to Enabled. This step turns on the feature organization-wide, allowing devices to use pins, biometrics, or security keys for sign-in. Step four, configure Windows Hello for Business settings. One, once Windows Hello for Business is enabled, additional settings will appear. Configure the following. Pin complexity. Set the minimum and maximum length for the pin. Specify requirements such as inclusion of digits, lowercase, and special characters. Biometric authentication. Enable or disable facial recognition and fingerprint options for authentication. Security keys. Configure whether users can authenticate using physical security keys e.g. FIDO2. Pin recovery. Specify whether users can recover their pin if forgotten. Pin expiration and history. Configure how often the pin needs to be changed and whether old pins can be reused. Two, once you've configured the desired settings, click Save to apply these configurations. Step five, create an endpoint security policy for Windows Hello for Business. One, in the left-hand menu, Navigate to Endpoint Security. Two, select Account Protection under Endpoint Security. Three, click plus Create Policy. Select Windows 10 and later as the platform and choose Account Protection for the profile type. Four, click Create and provide a name for the policy, such as Windows Hello for Business Policy. Five, in the configuration page, Ensure that Enable Windows Hello for Business is set to Yes. Six, adjust any additional settings you need to manage Windows Hello features, such as device sign-in requirements or security standards. Step six, assign the policy to devices or groups one. After configuring the policy, click Next to proceed to the Assignments page. Two here, Select the user or device groups that you want to apply the Windows Hello for Business policy to. You can choose specific security groups or device collections. If needed, create dynamic groups in Azure AD to target devices based on specific criteria like OS version. Once the group selection is made, click Next. Step seven, save and apply the policy one. Review the configuration settings and assignments on the final page of the wizard. Two, click Create to deploy the policy. The policy will now be applied to the selected users and devices. Three, ensure that the policy is successfully deployed by checking the Devices Monitor section where you can view the compliance status of enrolled devices. By following these steps, you will have successfully configured Windows Hello for Business using Microsoft Intune.